parasites. I want to talk about parasites and food uh, cravings. This video is inspired from somebody on my TikTok page, the one that's entitled God is Just Be Healthy. This is a person who inboxed me and asked me to give him some information because he was tired of dealing with parasites. And I was about, I told him, he, he texted or DM'd me late last night and I told him I'd do a video for him tomorrow, which is today. But when I started thinking about the things that I needed to say, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna just go live and just reply to him. Hopefully he'll catch the live or if not, I'll reply to him after the live and just tell him to go to my YouTube channel because there's so much information. I don't want to, you know, try to compile it in no one minute or three minute video. If y'all here and want to ask questions, feel free. Hey, here's your light and young, lucid. Hello, everybody, and welcome. If you want to ask questions throughout this particular live, feel free to do so. If not, you can just listen, take notes, and apply this to your health and wellness, health and wellness of your loved ones. I'm passionate about this here. I know what I'm talking about on this here because I saved my own life once upon a time from sickness and disease. Not only that, I've studied herbs, holistic health, consulted with people with sicknesses and disease to help them alleviate. Even on the spiritual side, I do consultations because all sickness and disease first start in the spiritual realm when you have chaotic energy, your energy is not moving in motion. Your chakra pools of energy are not in balance. Hey, Miss B and so I'm going to be a, a while on this particular live. So if you got to go, that, that'll be fine. You're so beautiful. Oh, thank you, babe. I appreciate you. So, and really, you're not even seeing me. You're seeing my, the reflection of my aura, meaning going back to energy, all things to energy, frequency, and vibration. So you see when a person is balanced. In a certain chakra pool of energy when you say that they're beautiful you're seeing the beauty of whichever chakra pool of energy is ignited the most at that time probably my self-expression and my passion right now anyway like i said let's get started right here underneath i, I just put some little bullet points because i didn't want to miss anything for this particular person and whoever else out there that need this information so if i'm looking right here i'm just looking at my little bullet points before I get started on how to detox the, with the parasites and the food cravings, I got to share with you the symptoms. Like, how do you know? Like, how do this person know that they have parasites? Hey, I've been taking coconut oil and on day three of a 42-day fruit phase. Well, you go ahead on, babe. <laughs> go ahead on. I'm so proud of you. I've been inspired a lot of people to go on a phase. I'm on day 60. 66. Today's day 66 for me. So I want to, um, I'm proud of you. I want to share the symptoms. So how do you know? And I wrote this down on my bullet points. You'll know because the, the, the biggest factor you'll know is because you maybe get bloated in your stomach. Maybe your, your stomach expand. Maybe you have real foul bowel movements. Maybe you feel a crawly. This is the major one. Like if you feel like a crawly sensation in your gut, in your body, or, and no, you know, on your anus. <laughs> I was trying to write, find the right word to use. Your anus might be itchy and, you know, tingling or whatever. You're probably, you know, squeezing your booty cheeks together throughout the day. Um, you probably feel tenderness in your stomach like right up in this particular area you probably uh get tired a lot really really sleepy really really fatigued you probably um another symptom would be that you get body odor you begin to stink not just your um bowels stinking but when you pass in gas your armpit maybe your vagina maybe even your breath because actually, you know how people say you full of crap. Actually, we're not supposed to be funky, like right? We're not supposed to stink. At least there's something in it that's causing habit. We're not supposed to even with our bowel movement. They're not to be so supposed to be so chaotic that they're running everybody out of the office or out of the house or wherever you you know release that. It's really not because it all goes back to diet. 
another symptom you may have if you have um excessive um if you have parasites is is that mucus you know how some people like in the morning or just randomly throughout the day they coughing up or hacking up when they go or whatever you know mucus it, it can be evident of secretions right because we all have mucus membranes right and we, we supposed to have mem mucus but excess of it you know it's letting you know that that mucus membrane has been compromised not only that um Maybe you're prone to sicknesses really, really easy. Something spread around, you call it, you caught the cold, you catching the virus. But your your immune system is weakened is what's going on. So what's weakening your immune system when it's you're an electric being and you're supposed to be being electrified by your food versus getting weakened? So you know in those tall tale signs too, and it'll probably be uh, more symptoms that I left off, but those are just the ones that I that stands out to me. Okay, so the next question I'm gonna answer is how did you get the parasite? Well, we get parasites. No, 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 I'm gonna answer this one first. Who has them? Because I don't want nobody out there judging nobody else. Who has them? At a point in everybody's life, they can be exposed to it. The only difference with us energetically is we all have different mindsets spiritually, right? But in the physical reality, we all have different immune immune systems, right? Some of our immune systems is just a little bit stronger than others. So who can get it? Anybody really can get it. But the popular, um, <laughs> and I say that because like, okay, I'm, I, I eat clean for the most part, but I can get it. I can get it from um, lettuce. You know, I could get it from tomatoes, you know, because because worms and insects and everything, those critters out there in the garden, they like fruits and vegetables too. So that's why I'm saying nobody is exempt. So everybody at some point could be exposed to it. Here's the thing. It's the people that have maybe heightened their exposure to the possibility of getting them that probably have more than others. This is why it's important, no matter what, if you're vegan or you're a meat eater, that you do a detox every six to six months to a year. Like, right? So, back to who can get them the most. And then this is just me coming from the dome, from my thoughts here, and people that I've, you know, dealt with, and myself once upon a time in my past. It can be those people who live with pets. That's the number one, you know, because you think about it, dogs cats that's that's parasites they gotta go get dewormed what do you think they're getting dewormed from worms you know um they're you know the rabies shot and everything dealing with those animals that live in your house if you're living in the house with an animal most often than not you have the parasites too just like the people that all live in a, in the same house end up all wearing glasses that's that's your family so it's like everybody in the house wearing glasses because their diet is the same. They're eating the same. So if you include a dog up in there and he have parasites, of course, it's going to be transferred because these things lay eggs that you, in your visibly through the eye, you really can't see this. They, they go through life cycles, these parasites. Right. <laughs> I never in my life had a detox. I want to need one. Definitely. It's time king. So... So people that have dogs, you know, you know, um, cats living in their home, people that eat those bloody steaks because we get them from animals too. Just like I said, the vegan could get it from the leafy green um, vegetables and even the fruit. But um, that bloody steak that's not all the way cooked through, especially if it's like steak or those pork um, chops, anything pork and steak, because they carry the pig is like... In the physical reality, he is likened to one of the most filthy things that you could eat. It holds in all of its toxins. It holds in all of its parasites. Hey, 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 Molly Mo. It holds in all of this here inside. Right? So that's how, uh, that's another way you can get it from, you know, animals like cat and dog living. I saw somebody on TikTok. They had a whole goat in their living room. And the girl talking about she didn't fell in love with the dang on goat. I'm like, Lord, have mercy. Anyway, that just came to my mind. Sorry. 
So you can get it from animals. You can get it from your meat, like your steaks. Um, you can get it from um, the pork chops. I said that. Let me let me make sure I have to write down my bullet points for that. Okay. So basically, when you're getting it, you or you can get it from other people. You know, kissing or whatever. Somebody who has a chaotic diet or whatever. You know, they they microscopic. They just transferring in saliva and stuff like that. There. So. What I'm saying is, if you're around animals a lot, you're going to get it. And if you're putting it in your mouth, pretty much, you're going to get it. You know, we're transferring it from food, humans, we just transferring it. And it's a person that doesn't have the compromised gut, that's able to, their good bacteria, so to speak, is able to outweigh the bad bacteria in their body. And, or maybe they have a diet that con that's conducive of a, a lot of fiber or thick, tacky um, prebiotics. That are, that are sticking to the walls of their intestines and kind of gathering up the parasites and they're expelling theirs. And so, oh, and another symptom that you know that you have them is when you look at your stool and you can kind of like see them. Some people even be passing like worms and parasites. They could actually see them, but they think nothing of it, you know, but that's another symptom. So I talked about the symptoms of it. I talked about who can get it, pretty much everybody in any state of being. Um... And I talk about how you get it. Okay. And so, okay, now I'm going to talk about what they eat. So just think about it. Just let's think logically. If you set some food outside in front of your door, you know, your garbage, and you had, let's say you had some some salmon, some salmon, and, and, and you had maybe a banana out there. Let's mix it up with some fish, with some something healthy, banana with, with some lettuce, <laughs> pretty much parasites is going to eat anything. <laughs> They're going to eat it all. You know, the only, the only thing I would say that they probably ain't going to fool with is them onions, but pretty much everything else, them parasites, you have the little gnat, they go after the bananas, you know, you have some type of insect, some type of worm or gnat or something that's going to go after food because after a while it's going to start decaying aging and they're going to pick up the scent of that but for most most often than not when it's inside of your gut what they're craving for is the sugars because the other stuff inside of you you be you using it for fuel as your body for your body because you're an electric being you're being electrified by the fuel the antioxidants in the you know vital minerals you're using that so what you don't have, your particular waste, if your waste is turning into sugar, that's what they're feeding off of. Or better yet, if you're not digesting your waste and it's here right here and you think you call it, um, what's that name that they give that, um, what do they call this? Acid reflex. They got so many medical names. I'll be forgetting sometimes. You call it acid reflex and you sitting up there, you taking your, uh, uh, Pepto Bismol, the little pink stuff, or whatever, making matters worse, actually. But really, it ain't. It's it's the really the total opposite. You don't have enough acid inside of there. You're lacking acid. You're lacking hydrochloric acid to break down your food. So, what you really uh, belching up is that excess mucus, aka all of that stuff that is dissolved and turned into sugar turned into acids, and that's the very thing that the parasites is feeding off of. So it's mostly, I'm sorry about that. So it's mostly sugar. The common thing would be white sugar. You know, your candy that you're eating. Then after that is the so-called grains. You're thinking you, um, like a lot of people, like without gumbo or whatever, will eat um, rice with that. A lot of people like to consume a lot of pastas. Those things too. That turned into sugar too. It turned into mucus too. So that's like a breeding house. And so now you are likely to develop something called candida, which is like an overgrowth of yeast, bacteria in your gut because you got so much. So if you are eating that and then you one day happen to go and put down, take down that uh, bloody steak in that pork that I'm telling you that, you know, we'll, we'll get the parasites from. Man, they get digested inside of your stomach and they like, wow, this is like heaven. So they wilding out, they reproduce and they laying eggs, they're secreting their larva and they have a whole life cycle. They die out 
and some will come. And maybe some of them aren't dying. And this is how you get the big long ones inside of some people that really begin to take over because they are feeding off of the host and you being the host at this time. They're feeding off of the host and they're getting their life force from that and becoming greater and greater and greater. Meanwhile, the host you will be coming becoming weaker and weaker and weaker and going to sleep all the time, fatigue all the time, not knowing why, right? So bread, pasta, grain, sugar, white sugar, processed food, that's the stuff that they eat off. Okay, now we can get to how to get rid of them jokers. I really wanted to educate y'all on that part first. Thank you for listening for the kingdom. Yeah, yeah. You helping somebody. Oh, yeah. I'm sure, I sure hope so. I'm hopeful of that. I'm hopeful that the person that asked me this question go find it, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let them know afterwards. So now we're going to start on talking about how to get rid of the jokers out of you. And I spoke about a minute ago about you use your, your the antioxidants, right? The fuel in your body. So you got to create more fuel in your body. You got to create more momentum of the fuel, the energy of your life force, oxygen, good bacteria, um, fiber. So basically what we're doing here with a, with a dewormer or a detoxer is we're getting you from that slightly or very over, overly necessary state of acid, 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 acidity all the way over to the alkaline state of being. So, I have on this table a whole bunch of stuff that I'm gonna go through. But we want anti-rich food. So I'm gonna talk about the world's most powerful antioxidant first. The world's most powerful antioxidant is gonna be cloves. 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 Cloves kill parasites on contact clove and i'm gonna teach you real quick how to make some clove at home for you but i want to encourage you to pay attention to on my website there's something called the alchemist oil that's already been supercharged with clove and oregano which is the next anti-parasitic uh, herb you can use Clove is the world's most powerful antioxidant. It will destroy parasites, the worms, and expel them, kill them on contact and expel them. Mixed up with oregano, the most powerful oregano that you can purchase is inside of here. Matter of fact, you have to dilute this. I caution you to dilute this. You can take this internally for pain and externally. I mean, internally for worms and externally for pain, for bronchitis issues, wherever, because the, the parasite is going to go wherever you're weakened at in your body, right? So if you, if it's your lungs, it's going to be the, par um, the bronchial area. You know, if it's your stomach, you know, you're going to have irritable bowel syndrome, wherever you're weaken at. If you're weak down there, even for the women, it's mostly the place where we stretch the most, like, right? So we'll have issues like in our cervix area. For men, their issue will be like prostate type issues and then in the gut because it's a place where there's enough space for things to be expanding on, right? That's the place you, most often than not, that's the place where you want to put this here on externally, but you also want to consume it because you want it to get inside of there and start killing the parasite where they are probably around that food in your gut. So this is available on my website, but I want to show you something that you can do at home for a natural antibiotic. It ain't gonna be as powerful as the alchemist oil, but it'd be something for you. Right here in this here jar, I have cloves. And I have like a, um, a big tub of this that I use for my business when I'm making actually the alchemist oil but i'm gonna share this with you because i feel like every house every mother every woman should have a, a natural herbal antibiotic in her kitchen for her family in case they can't reach me in case you know 
if y'all believe in, in all of the days to come where y'all ain't going to be able to, you know, eat and all of that, the end time or whatever. If you believe in that, you need to. <laughs> so, this right here, and I encourage you to make this here today. You might not be sick today, but you make it today. And if you get sick one day, guess what? Now it's old. Now it's powerful. Now you could use you could use it, you know, two, three, four, five, six months from now. Because it's gonna be getting stronger and stronger as it sit. Now this is the brand that I I like to use because of course it's organic. You gotta screenshot that and look at that. And you could order that. I think I got that from um Amazon. But you could go to um Whole Foods store locally or whatever and get you some clothes. So in here is clothes. The world's most powerful antioxidant is inside of here. And so what I did was I mixed it with a carrier oil. And this here is just something that just sits in the kitchen. This is just the one for the kitchen that I don't really fool with unless I'm putting maybe a sprinkle up in my tea. A little, you know, a little dropper of it uh, full in my tea when I'm taking, you know, my herbal teas or something. But you make this by getting some clothes and you're hitting this with something. You could hit it with the bottom of a shoe. You know, put it in the envelope first. Hit them to crush them. That's all you're trying to do. You're just trying to crush them up. Hit it with the bottom of the shoe. Or one of them little, I ain't mechanically knowledgeable. I know about consciousness. You know them little fat hammer looking thingies? Them things. <laughs> hit it with one of them. Crush the uh, clothes. Really, really, really as, as tiny as you can. Put it in a jar. Fill your jar with a carrier oil, an organic oil. Don't you fill your jar, jar with no Crisco oil, no sunflower oil, no canola oil, no peanut oil. Don't you put that with the clove. Put organic with organic. None of that stuff is organic, right? <laughs> yeah. Put that with an avocado oil olive oil, a grape seed oil, those kind of a hemp seed oil. But if you use hemp seed oil, you got to put it in the refrigerator because hemp seed needs to stay up in the refrigerator. So how do you rebuild the acid in the um, stomach? That's pink Himalaya sea salt, um, hydrochloric acid. It helps you produce that more and more. So you're going to put this here. I'm going to get to that too on here. It's on my list. I got a lot to cover. But you're going to put the clove in a carrier oil, a good oil that ain't going to go rancid in your head and all of that. That's going to provide you more nourishment, vitamin E's and, you know, magnesium, hemp seed about, about give you the magnesium, hemp seed to give you those omegas that you need, hemp seed oil, the omega-3, 6, and 9's, right? And um, all of them are really good for you. Or you can even get you some of that liquid because they sell liquid coconut oil which also is an antifungal, antiparasitic, and you could mix your clove with liquid coconut oil. However, whatever oil you pick, I'm telling you, if you do this and sit this here, hey, cut this, Mercedes, thank you for being here, and sit this here on your counter, let it age, use it when you need antiviral, use it when you need antifungal, use it when you need antiparasitic, Use it because it is medicine. This is what they used to use in dentistry for um, for pain and in um, numbing. If you have issues with your teeth, your gums, here you go. I'm giving you the game. It's not going to be as powerful as mine, though, because, like I said, mine has oregano oil in it. Now, oregano, that's, a, that's the game says as far as the pain is concerned, too. Because it gives you that numbing sensation. And it's going to um, clean up parasites too. So when you're going after parasites, don't be cute with them. Don't be like, oh, I'm going to just stick with the coconut oil. No, I don't, I don't do that. I don't practice that. If you're going to go after being healthy, we're going to go to the gangster stuff. And we're going to double up on that thing. And we're going to make sure that we 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 killing it. And we ain't going to revisit this here thing no more. So I like to mix them together, you know. So you could get a real, real bam out of it. So that's why I mixed oregano and aged clove oil together. I allow my clove oil to sit for months before I even 
put it in the alchemist oil. I let it sit in age because I know that it is seeping up all of the antioxidant and everything that I need to be able to be good enough for the alchemist oil. Because when I said it, I want to make sure that everybody that's using it can feel the benefit. And so immediately on contact, you'll feel the numbing, the tingling sensation in your mouth. This is why you have to dilute the alchemist oil with a carrier oil. You have to. It will burn. If I take this out of this here bottle, I, I can show you what it look like, but I can't touch it because I don't have nothing to dilute it with. But this is how it looks. This is my personal bottle here, y'all. But this is how it looks outside of the um, bottle. This all, all of this here actually is stuff from my kitchen, just to let y'all know people that's out there judging me. <laughs> so, I talked about um, clove oil and oregano. Both of them are antifungal, antiparasitic, antiviral, antimicrobial. So since I'm talking about that, I might as well get the, um, get the coconut oil, which I always talk about out of the way too. Coconut oil is antiparasitic antiviral, antimicrobial, all three of these are oregano, clove, coconut oil. These are the three gangsters that I like to put together. This is why I suggest so much for you all to try the alchemist oil from my website because now all you have to do is get you some coconut oil. And now with these three things here, now if you have gingivitis, it's gone. Now if you have parasites, it's gone. Now, if you have irritable bowel syndrome, it's gone. Now, if you have inflammation anywhere in your body, it's gone. If you have the gout, it's gone. If you are diabetic, it is helping you get rid of that buildup inside of your gut. It's gone. If you have high blood pressure, guess what? It's getting better. This here, I'm giving this here for free. I have a transformation course, and I was telling my, saying to myself, now, why would I go up there and tell these people this here stuff, and I, and I got a transformation course for sale? On my website, and I said, and then I was like, "Cause you love them, cause you just love them." And, and, and sometimes it ain't all about the money. Some people you can't reach. Some people ain't got the money. So just do it, okay? I ain't doing it no more. <laughs> I gave you the game with that one. Now you sit on it if you want to, okay? So moving on, the next thing, and this here came from my freezer too. The next thing I didn't have any whole ones because I what I do with mine is I um juice and then I freeze it. I juice and I freeze it. This here right here is um key limes wait i'm missing some um some some comments let me look at the comments before i go too far let me see key limes let's say hey my boyfriend has a two pounds in him i will let him know yeah yeah he needs to take care of them gums because anytime them teeth walling out is because of the integrity of them gums and he needs to start all pulling with coconut oil and two drops every morning of the um uh alchemist oil oil pulling, squish it in his mouth, spit that thing out, and his gums are going to start healing. This is for cavities or anything wrong inside teeth. When they have that thra thrush, thrash, I say thrash, I don't know if it's thrush or thrash, you know, you have that, that white coat, that yeast on that tongue, it'll get rid of that. Alchemist oil is the answer. And I don't all the time oil pull. I, um, I have the water pick. But inside of my water pick, I have pink Himalaya sea salt, a little pinch of pink Himalaya sea salt, um, a pinch of the Bob Red Mills baking soda, because that's antifungal, and the pink Himalaya sea salt it increases the alkalinity of the water. And then I put two drops of my alchemist oil that I just showed you all this here in my water pick. And so I rinse, after, you know, after I brush my teeth with my um, sodium bicarbonate. I rinse my mouth out with my water pick and this is inside of there already. So when I'm squishing my mouth around, you know, my, that water around in my mouth, I'm getting the cooling effect. I'm getting the freshest breath from this here oregano inside of here because it gives you that burning sensation. So it's like the best mouthwash. It's way better than mouthwash because mouthwash has alcohol in it. You fool around and get drunk trying to, trying to brush your teeth with mouthwash. But let your, your boyfriend or... Yeah, you said boyfriend or best friend. I don't know, Bia. No, about the alcohol is all available on my website. Okay, back to key limes. Key limes. And so the thing about key limes, I encourage you, first of all, with key limes, to uh, use a straw if you're drinking it because they're very acidic going in your mouth. And so we don't want to mess up your tea. We was talking about good tea just now. We don't want to mess up your tea. 
We don't want to destroy the enamel off your tea. So use a straw if you're going to be constantly drinking key limes or making a key lime aid. But key limes help to get rid of parasites too because it's opening up the path this ways. After you consume the key limes, once you take and you know, digest them in your mouth going down inside of you, it turns into your body's infinite intelligence. It turns into an alkaline substance. So it's acidic in the mouth, gets up in there in that stomach, get the whole of it. Now you have like an um, alkaline ash left over. And so this parasite, these sicknesses and diseases cannot uh, live in that type of alkaline environment. It needs to be in an acidic environment. So all of these things I'm teaching about, like the coconut oil, like, you know, the alchemist oil, like the key lime, it's going to leave you more alkaline. We're trying to raise your pH here. Let me see. Okay, okay, okay. Fresh clothes. Okay, thank you, Miss uh, B and Soul. She here helping me. Where can I find it? Whole Foods, a farm's market. Yeah, yeah. If you're looking at clothes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Make sure it's okay. Oh, girl, you doing a turn. That's why I love you up in here. She answering you. Okay, hey, thanks. Okay, I got that one. I, okay, 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 okay. Just got the number to give. Oh, thank you for the gifts. Thank you, thank you. Okay. What are the names? I'm not sure the names of what. How does this work with someone with kidney disease? Kidney, kidney, definitely the um the uh, coconut oil because them kidneys are acidic. Them kidneys is where all of that lactic acid and that uric acid is trying to be released from because that's that's how your lymphatic system drains. Your lymphatic system is the backup for your blood system. So if you sit up there with kidney disease and disharmony, them acids are very hard on you right now. That lymphatic system is making your back feel heavy, <laughs> making you tired probably. So you need the anti-inflammatory properties that coconut oil can provide for you. You need the anti-parasitic properties because most often than not, a parasite, a parasite have to be up in there at that point where you're experiencing that type of disease where it's going to another, or from your gut to other organs. And so, coconut oil helps to get rid of the lactic acid, uric acid, and so does key limes, baby. They are very good to help flush out your lymphatic system. So that that is the play that it has in that. And it's going to leave your body more alkaline drinking a lot more water is filtering at the same time your blood i want to keep moving so um i'm gonna let miss b and soul talk to you all i answer your questions from the things that you miss but the next thing i want to talk about i got on my list i talked about antioxidant clove i talked about oregano key lines probiotic or some type of fiber because anytime you have um, parasites inside of your body you got to make sure you, you, you consume in a probiotic. Now, when I say probiotics, trust and believe, I go gangster, like I call it. I ain't talking about no yogurt. I ain't talking about no old, no old stank cow milk. When I say probiotic, I don't mean that. I ain't talking about no acidophilus that you see on TV commercials. I don't mean that. Because what we're not going to do is, 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 is fool with the dairy. Because dairy is mucus forming. Dairy is probably the reason why some people have parasites because um just think logically about it how do you know that this this milk that they, the cow was being squeezed that didn't have some type of sickness or disease itself and so regardless of you consuming that milk they molded cheese that came from them that yogurt which just is old nice days stink ass <laughs> milk how do you know the, the integrity of this thing? Like, why are we doing this? I don't, I don't like that. I don't like that. So I got a prebiotic that you ain't got to worry about. You ain't got to worry about that came from no um, stink ace cow. <laughs> Sorry, that's just how I talk. 
about that stuff so y'all can get the point because we need to start calling things that, that what it is you know what it is you you eat three animals a day like you eating mold molded cheese when you do that you'll be more mindful like dang i need to i need to stop eating glue i'm grown why am i eating glue glue 10 from these breads why am i preventing my minerals from being absorbed when you start doing that you break that program, you get up out of there and you do better, you dare to do better. Cause it don't make no common sense for you to be saying like, dang, I done laid up here and ate three, three animals today. One for breakfast, one for lunch and one for dinner. One day you, you, you need to think about that and maybe come on on to the other side and eat you some live food. So the probiotic that I'm talking about is going to be in the form of coconut vinegar. This is a probiotic, y'all. Not only is coconut vinegar the probiotic that you're looking for, for the good bacteria that they talk about in the acidophilus, but it is rich in amino acids. That so-called thing that the meat eaters so call protein, this is here, amino acids. This is why on my fast, being that I'm on day 66, this is why everybody looking at me like, oh my God, what are you doing? What do you do with the cravings? Like, what's going on? I down me some coconut oil every time I get hungry. Yeah, because that's my amino acids. That's the thing that's giving me my energy. That's the reason why I'm I'm still at it. I'm still I'm still running my business. I'm still working out. I'm still doing lives. I still got my strength because I'm I'm consuming coconut oil, which my amino acids come from my coconut oil, but my amino acids come from my coconut vinegar too. And so this here is real where you really could get some um, probiotic for it. So, you, so now if you consuming this here, and I say, I'm not saying a lot of this here. So like, okay, let me do measurements because y'all might be asking me that. So I'm, I measure based upon droppers. I would say like a dropper full of this here prebiotic in uh, four ounces of water and you down that thing. Yeah, a dropper full. So we're looking at like a, a little less than a teaspoon. You know, just a, kind of like a, a smaller splash of it in your four ounces of water, like in the morning when you're on that empty stomach, so it could really, really penetrate over or before bed, you know, when you're about to go to sleep. So it could be working when your body going into detox mode, or you could do it in the morning or at night, depending upon your level. But I ain't saying down this here without diluting it with no water. I ain't saying, you know, too, too much of this here. Don't, don't focus on doing too much of one thing. Try to flip that thing because like I said, when we're dealing with parasites, we want to be smart on them. We want to catch them from every which way. So probiotics is good because it's going to give you that beneficial bacteria and it's going to help the, the environment. It's going to help your digestive issues. And anytime you're helping digestive issues and you're clearing out things in your digestive, in your um, gut or whatever, that's making an environment that's not conducive for them parasites to want to stay there because they're sitting up there logically probably i'm giving them a whole mind and everything y'all but this is how i think so logically if it's a parasite they want their sugar like dang she ain't eating the sugar no more where the where the rice at where that pasta at i like knowing on that so now you clearing up that by by um allowing your digestive system to clear and now the parasites looking for food. You, you 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 switch the dynamic now. You once was the host. Now they're getting weak, and so while you weakening them, they're dying out. And I also this is another uh, probiotic type um, thing I want to share with you. I had oh here we go. Things like this. I'm good fiber so not only is this here like pro and prebiotics here wait i got one more <sighs> i buy in bulk so i got these big old things out of the kitchen so this is agave this one here this is agave so this is a prebiotic so the apple not the apple the coconut vinegar is a probiotic and then the agave is a prebiotic so now if you take that coconut vinegar that I just showed you and have a four ounces of water and then you put a little splash of agave, you got a probiotic and a prebiotic going on in your gut and that'll help clear them jokers out. You got the good bacteria walling out in your gut, making the environment inhabitable for the parasites. Fiber. 
this is something this is real fiber here I, you know they got all in in the stores these little powder forms and things i don't work i don't fool with that i go to the fruits that they that they get this here creation from here's some real fiber and so a lot of us got in the predicament of um of having parasites because we didn't have no dirt and fiber in our diet so the fiber was gone the fiber in the diet really helps to soften your stool and help you pay stuff faster like right so you don't be full of crap if you have a high fiber diet you can escape sickness and disease if you have a high fiber diet right so here's some real fiber here real fiber comes in dates baby dates and let me explain this to you logically this is how i, I program my mind so i could only teach you how i how i tried to understand it for me when you chewing on dates when you chewing on dates it's gonna be thick let me take one out this is dates just in case you don't know what they look like this is what the box look like i'm on both of my channels i'll show you what the box look like right there okay so this is dates these dates are thick and tacky sticky just think about this logic let's use logic baby they're sticky when this gets inside of you let's think of what a, if the parasite have a lipid coating around it trying to stay there a virus have a lipid coating now this sticky tacky stuff is sticking to the parasite this is the kind of food you want to eat in your smoothie i'll be putting when i eat my drink my smoothies i'll be putting about a good 10 to 12 little dates inside there because i want my smoothie to be thick and tacky and capture the parasites that mucus that excess mucus in the lining of my large and small intestines and get that crap up out of there get it up out of there catch it that's fiber you need fiber in your diet when you have parasites here's another form if you don't like them right there here's another form of fiber right here this is from this is from africa i love well the dates are from africa too but i just like to say that this one here from africa because it's, it's so exotic and different right this is this is from my hometown god darn it that's what i'm trying to say <laughs> I ain't even been there, right? But this from my hometown, Africa. Did I show you this, the, the cover? These are called sweet tamarind. Go to your local international store. The, the uh, little Chinese, uh, Asian little markets. Go to the little Mexican markets. They have this kind of stuff. You ain't gonna find this at Walmart. I don't buy nothing from Walmart, but probably every now and then I'll go and get some toilet paper because they could only walk, bite my butt up in there. They ain't trying to bring life for nobody. They don't, they don't, last time I went there to look for pink Himalayas, so they didn't even have that. And I was like, you know what? I ain't coming back here no more. Y'all ain't got nothing that's for life. So when you open up this here, you remember it was in this here hard shell, the sweet tamarind. You open up this here, fiber, fiber, probiotic right here good bacteria right here you open this here up we back to the same consistency as the dates that i was just showing you thick fiber thick tacky tacky so when we chew this and it goes down it's catching a hold to the parasites and the little critters the little worms the little eggs and boop, making your bowel bulk up but yet be soft and full right letting you release all of that toxicity leaving your body alkaline after you do that okay so where i'm at on my on my little bullet points i talked about the probiotic that was the um coconut vinegar and if anybody out there asks me well what about the apple cider vinegar no 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 i didn't say apple cider vinegar no 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 let the apple cider vinegar go it is too, too, too acidic. And an apple is not as nutritious on a, as a coconut on its best day. I don't care what kind of Fiji apple it is. I don't care. And then, so now you're looking at the aspect of the pesticides, right? So the apple is wide open. This skin is wide open. It could be sprayed. The coconut has a whole shell. Young coconuts have a whole shell. You damn near got to get a hammer to get in the inside of, to, to finagle with that juice. So we're going to go with the coconut vinegar. 
Let's step it up a little bit. And also the apple don't have no amino acids in it. You need, you look like me, you black, you got a darker hue, especially you. I'm talking to you. Listen to the people that look like you because <laughs> you vibrate differently. You have any type of hue about you. You need to come on to the amino acid side. You need to come on to the fruit side because this, 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 this is what your genetic makeup is more likely of. Other people, they might think I'm talking crazy when I said a couple of minutes ago about leaving the little uh, milks in the little yogurts alone. Other people don't even, they can't even understand that. But you, you the one that's lactose intolerant all of a sudden. Why? Because you were never able, supposed to be consuming those things. So when I tell you about coconut vinegar, I mean coconut vinegar. You fruitarian, you herbivore, you that need to stick to the things that you were genetically made like in this matrix, stick to your coating, get the coconut vinegar and say goodbye to the apple side of the vinegar because they're manipulating the apple and the apple is weaker. Coconut vinegar has your amino acids. It has your probiotic in there. It's, it, it's, it's going to help you with beneficial bacteria. Yeah, it's going to help to get... Um, to loosen up that mucus inside of your body, inside of you, so it can be expelled out of you. It's going to be higher in potassium. Back to the person that had that kidney issue that just posted something about kidney. You need some potassium in there. You need some um, coconut vinegar in that body. So it, the potassium be lo um, looser on the kidneys. So you can filter out that lymphatic system. Okay. So, I'm going to come to the questions, y'all, in case I missed them. I just want to finish this. I'm almost at the end. So, the probiotic, I talked about that. I talked about the fiber. I talked about, okay, and onions. Onions is also a good um, prebiotic, too. So, you when you're cooking your food, make sure you have purple. We're going to go to the gangster. We ain't going to play around with no white and no tan ones. We're going to go to the gangster one. The purple onion should be in all of your food. Every time you cook. Purple onion, purple onion. Matter of fact, let me let me share you some se some seasons. Now y'all really getting good. I don't even know if I'm gonna post this here on my YouTube channel. Y'all really getting some good information. Okay, so when you chopping up your season, take notes now. When you chopping up your season, this is what you really really need for the to get rid of those parasites. You need them. Always make sure you got a purple onion up there. Purple. Now, you can play around with the white one and include it in the little tan one if you want to include it, but it ain't the most powerful one. You want to always, if you a darker hue being, back to color, back to hue, you want to always have a little bit of every last one of them colors of, of peppers. That, that, that red pepper, that orange pepper, that yellow pepper, that green pepper. You want all of them because they correlate with the chakra pools of energy inside of your body, melody to be. And they are the cousin of, they provide silica in them, which is a cousin of carbon that's going to help you clear that blood and electrify your body. You want to also make sure you have some cilantro. Cilantro helps to detox the body. Make sure you get you some cilantro. And what I like to do when I'm cooking is I'll put in my alchemist oil, you know, like if I'm like cooking a meal, like they have like maybe baked chicken and I'm putting it in an oven and you know, at the bottom of the pan, you want to put a little bit of water. Well, I put a little bit of this here alchemist oil because that way everybody that eat that, that meal, I'm killing the bacteria from the, the, the animals because my boys, my boys eat chicken. I'm killing the bacteria from the animal. And at the same time, I'm allowing them to take some uh, alchemist oil. So they're getting their mega antioxidants, the world's most powerful antioxidant. They're getting all those properties and I'm taking care of anything that might be trying to grow inside of them from whatever they be eating and wilding out when I ain't around them. Because they tell me stuff like, like for the holidays, my baby, he said, Ma, I'm about to wild out. You know, I'm about to eat everything. Um, you gonna clean this out me? Make sure you clean this out me. You got your stuff? <laughs> so they eat knowing that I'll help them detox. But it's cool though. Nonetheless, you got your cilantro up in there. You got your purple onion up in there. You got all color um, peppers up in there. And watercress. This is something you will find at Asian markets or at Whole Foods store. And maybe, maybe at a Trader Joe's. Watercress. 
These are superfoods. These are the gangster seasons that if you want to chop some things up, you make sure you have those. You make sure you have those and you'll be good as far as the earth. And then when you're chopping up your season, you make sure that you put, you could put a little bit of like the onion and the stuff that's a little harder in, you know, early. But you want to put your seasons in at the very end. You could probably saute some and put them in in the beginning, but you want to save the other half of those said seasons until like it's about five minutes, five to 10 minutes before it's done. That way you, you get a crunchy season. That, that way that juice that's in that season, you're consuming that because you need that juice right there. Another thing, papaya seeds. For parasites, papaya, I did a video on this here page over here called um, God is Just Be Healthy. Follow my other page, y'all, that's over here. I have two TikTok pages. My backup is called God is Just Be Healthy. Anyway, I did a video of me consuming them during papaya seeds. Papaya seeds are nasty. Now, you can put them in smoothies, but for me, I'm the type where I I like to just down. I haven't got to the point where I could taste nasty stuff. I like to just down it, get rid of it. Don't put it in my smoothie. Don't put it in my citrus juice. Look, let's just swallow this thing and let this thing be over with. So, you can find a way to finagle them, but they have this peppery, bitter type um taste papaya seeds it's just the sliminess of the balls of the black seeds that that don't feel comfortable in my mouth but papaya seeds is an anti-parasitic you swallow them they say don't do but 20 or whatever i do a big old tablespoon of them and i think that i'll be overdoing the 20 i do that but i do only once a day when i'm doing my little purge like the beginning of this year's fast i um I did it for like three days. I did a tablespoon of papaya seeds because I had a bunch of papayas and I had to scoop the uh, seeds out. And I was trying to make sure that I ate them. And I tell you one thing, when you consume them papaya seeds and you have your next bowel movement and you look back, you'll see. You'll see your release. I mean, it don't, for everybody is different. It don't necessarily have to be a big hook worm or, you know, you, you know, it, it don't necessarily have to be little white stringy things or whatever. It could be little flutes. It could be little uh, dots looking like in your whole stool and you can, you know that those dots, maybe they're tan or white. You know that you have not white that particular day. So papaya seeds, papaya seeds are really, really powerful too. Let's see. And back to you, Molly Mall, if you're still here. Ginger and pink Himalaya sea salt. Those two. Um, I'm sure you all know what uh, pink Himalaya sea salt and ginger look like. But to take it, the ginger, what I normally do is cut the ginger in um, shapes. You know how it comes at the root? I'll cut it like, like a quarter shape size just as thick as a quarter maybe too and just chew on that and get the juice swallow it with water spit the pulp out, pulp out pink himalaya sea salt it should be replaced in lieu of white salt and the reason why i'm talking about these is because they're great for digestion again just like that fiber the parasites are there because the digestive system is at havoc and something is in there. They're showing up because there's so much a buildup of sugar in there. So when you increase your stomach acid, ginger would help you increase your stomach acid as well as um, pink Himalaya sea salt, molly mall. So you got your ginger and your pink Himalaya sea salt increasing your stomach acid, aka your hydrochloric acid reproduction instead of taking the pink Pepto Bismol that's really messing you up and depleting you of all acids, making you just feel good up in there. But now you ain't got no acid and now you're making things worse. worse. So anybody out there that's doing the pink, I'm not the pink, the pink, what do you call that thing? Pepto-Bismol stuff? Stop it. You're already out of acid. Stop making matters worse. Get you some ginger and clear. Most often than not, you got parasites. Ginger gonna help with that. Ginger gonna help with digestion for you. Pink Himalaya sea salt as well. And the ginger on top of that is gonna help you with an ulcer. Because oftentimes when you compromise inside there, it start off with a little ulcer in your stomach. You know, first of all, it start off with an ache. 
And then after the ache, you get a little ulcer. And then after the ulcer, now you got leaky gut syndrome. And now you got stuff wilding out all in the abdominal cavity because now leaky gut syndrome is pretty much a little hole in your gut. So stuff just wilding out. Now it's going down, just floating around. Now your kidney's like going, what the heck is that falling on top of us? So now your kidney's messed up. Now, it, it just starts at one place and then everything else starts just wilding out. Then the kidney's messed up. Now you have gout. Now you got high blood pressure because everything is chaotic. It starts in the gut. Stop taking Pepto-Bismol and start taking pink Himalaya sea salt and ginger to clean the gut and heal that leaky gut, that irritable bowel syndrome, do it now. And so when I say leave the white salt alone, it's toxic. It only has two minerals. Pink Himalaya sea salt has 80 plus minerals to electrify your already electric body. It's alkaline, it's smooth and, and taste, it make it tastes so much better than white salt. White salt is causing that high blood pressure. It's causing things to be out of balance and pay attention to, um, I'm almost done, y'all. Pay attention to the um, the shake seasons. Inside of them shake seasons, you know, like I'm from New Orleans and we had the Tony Sashery. Tony gonna have everybody up in the Durham Hospital real, real soon because Tony is full of white salt. Tony, first ingredient, probably white salt, then a the third ingredient, white salt, then the last ingredient, white salt. So pay attention to those shake seasons i don't i didn't never look at slap your mama but it comes to mind you know how other places they have like slap your mama sauces and season all sauces or whatever i'm talking about the ones that's mixed together they have white salt when they just say salt they talking about white salt because if it was sea salt they would have said it. if it was celtic sea salt pink and lead sea salt they would have said sea salt but when it just say salt like your potato chips that's salt. That's just white salt. Nine times out of ten. Because if unless it's organic potato chips. Because organic potato chips, if you pay attention, they'll put sea salt. So they be trying to finagle you with the words on um things. And you getting toxic salt out there, out there in them streets. If you eat fast food, you getting toxic salt. If you go into restaurants, toxic salt, they put the toxic salt, white salt on the table. You getting the toxic salt out there. So at home, make your home your safe haven for your family. Create your your blended concoction of um, seasons if you have to. But throw out that already pre-mixed stuff and provide your family with the options of minerals that they need with pink Himalaya sea salt if you're going to mix it or even have it by itself. Um, magnesium. Magnesium is needed in every organ in the body. Magnesium helps the body detox. And so this here, hemp seeds, is full of magnesium. And it's also full of the so-called protein that people be looking for. But this is the plant version of it. Hemp seeds are really, really good for you. Really, really filling. I like to add these in my smoothies. So being that magnesium is needed throughout every organ of the body and it's a detoxer, I encourage you to use these because once you detox your body with magnesium, Guess what? The parasites are craving. You can't go wrong with none of these things. You find the thing here that you like the most that I'm talking about and while I'm with it, flip it up a little bit. The next thing I'm going to talk about is herbs. The bitter, the better. The bitter, the better when it comes to herbs. So when you're dealing with herbs, you ain't even got to deal with none of this here stuff that I just called out. Well, because you have your herb already in, um, in your um, alchemist. Oh, these are herbs. So, but, but besides that, you ain't got to really deal with, you know, the rest of that stuff because of herbs and bitter herbs going to get you right. They're going to be nasty now. They're going to probably make you want to gag if you consume it by yourself. But here we go. Herbs, sustain detox. Sustain detox. I sell this on my website, y'all. And I'm just be perfect, perfectly honest with you. It's nasty. And I told you earlier that I could, I'm at a place where I could just, you know, consume anything because I know, you know, the nasty stuff just, it just works that way sometimes. It just works better, you know. It's the, it's the stuff that's going to clear up your, li your liver. It's the thing that's going to get them kidneys working. It's going to clear out the lymphatic system and that, that gut. And this here product is nasty. <laughs> 
this mine. I make this. I'm a creative this. And I'm going to just be honest. It's nasty. And so I encourage everybody that purchases to sustain detox to go to Whole Foods store and get you some empty gel, the veggie kind, not the gelatin kind, because there we go with gel, pig um, secretions, a toxicity. Don't get the gelatin kind. Get the veggie kind of capsule. Because that'd that be pork casing on the gelatin kind. Anyway, you go get you some veggie capsules from a Whole Foods store, from a Sprouts, or from Amazon. They ain't nothing but about maybe about six or seven dollars. They give you about a hundred of them, right? And when you purchase sustained detox, you're gonna feel them because this comes in a powder form. You're gonna feel them in the veggie capsule and you're going to take your um, sustained detox in veggie capsule now you can do it with citrus fruits if you want to if you think you gangsta enough and you can handle it go ahead and wild out baby i'm just being honest with you as a creator of this product these are bitter 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 herbs and they clean house they're going to get rid of old fecal matter they're going to get rid of that sluggish liver that sluggish those sluggish kidneys that lymphatic system that's tired of working and tired of all the stuff that you're allowing to go into your blood system because it's supposed to be the backup, but you just wilding out too much and your kidneys ain't filtering no more, so it's tired of you? Well, yeah, you need this here. You need this here in your life to get rid of all of it because we want to clear up at a cellular level. And this is what this does, cleans you at a cellular level. It's not going to have you with diarrhea type issues. It's going to kind of like have when you go to the restroom you go release more it's gonna be like you know how sometimes you go to the restroom and you about 15 pounds lighter seemingly like that you gonna know that it's time to go and you're just gonna go it ain't it ain't the kind that's just gonna have stuff running down your leg kind you're gonna have all your activities of your limbs but it works at a cellular level to cleanse out your body now, I will share with you, I ain't sharing with you all the, everything in my sustained detox. No, I done gave you a lot today. <laughs> but I will share with you um, some of the ingredients, some of the herbs that's in here. Because actually, I'm up to seven. The, the, um, the package says six, but I'm up to seven that I have inside of here. But I'll share a couple. Sarsaparilla is one of the main ones. And the reason why sarsaparilla is one of the main ones is because sarsaparilla root is the world's most powerful form of iron. And I, once upon a time, used to be anemic. So this here helped me on my journey from being anemic. So sarsaparilla root, and it also um, takes care of parasites. That's why I'm sharing this with you. Not only that, you have your docks in here. You got your bird dock and you got your yellow dock. I'll, I'll end with that right there inside of here. So anytime we're dealing with intestinal worms, parasites, little uh, take, worm, take worms, the round worms, any type of parasitic infection, we need bitter, bitter, bitter herbs. That's going pretty much, I think about it logically like this here. If I was a <laughs> parasite, these herbs would knock my butt out too. I'll just be like, all right, I'm done. I'm done because they just stay that bitter. They just that bitter. So Sustain Detox is available on my website. The Alchemist Oil is available on my website. And for those who have really big, and you know this because of your symptoms, if you have really large parasites that's got your booty hole itching your stomach feel like it's crawling when you just sitting there you know because everybody you when something going on in your body you first want to know so if they done wild out to that point where they done grew and they they about to take over you you need to get both of these at the same time and that will be the um, alchemist oil plus quit bugging me Quick bugging me is a powder form you can take a bath with quick bugging me you could also in, take it internally as well it's a powder form, but you need to mix the powder form with water. That's all, a cup of water, one um, little teaspoon that comes with it, with a cup of water. This gets rid of adult parasites. These are for the adults, the, the ones that you damn near could see the little parasite worm coming out your booty, and you just you just know. If you take this, you just know you, you just got parasites, and ain't nobody can tell you no different. So this is when they... They about to really pretty much, and I'm, I'm, I'm laughing about this, but you got, sometimes you got to laugh at the pain. They're really about to take your little butt out. So come on and get hit, get the adult kind of um, powder for you if you really infected to that level. 
and you do at the same time the alchemist oil because this is for the adult the alchemist oil is going to take care of the egg the larva and everything else the parasites is leaving behind but this here is when you see them in the toilet and they just wilding out and you can't sleep, you can't breathe, you can't do nothing. And oh my God, what's wrong with me? And oh, I think I'm going to die. You need to do this here together. You need both of them. Don't just play around and get one. Don't be tight with yourself. Invest in yourself. I ain't here to be no salesperson. You do what you want to do with your journey. I just here, I'm just here to share the information with you. So, with that being said... Oh, and anybody, one last bonus before I go and look at these questions. One last bonus. They have an herb called um, Cordoncillo Negro, in case any of y'all out there with gonorrhea and syphilis type issues, STD type issues. That's the herb of choice for that. Even though I wasn't talking about STDs, I just wanted to throw that in because um, that those type of STDs actually pretty much from parasitic type infections. Okay. Now I'm finished running my mouth. Now I can go to the comments. Oh, Lord, they got 99 of them over here. Let me go do this one since there's not too many people over here. Molly Mall over here. <sighs> Does coconut oil work similar? Yes. Similar to the alchemist oil, if that's what you're saying? Yes, because all of them are antifungal, antiviral, antiparasitic, antimicrobial, and all of those good genes. What is alchemist oil? I'm a little late coming in. Alchemist oil is available on my website. It's a clove oil and um, oregano oil. While crafted, the, while crafted, the highest, um, the world's most powerful antioxidant and the highest potency of oregano is in the alchemist oil. It's already mixed and already aged and it needs to be used with a carrier oil because it will burn you. That's how, that's how um, powerful it is. Oh, look at that. Somebody, look, it's a natural antibiotic. Look at y'all answering each other questions. Okay, and I answer Molly Mall with ginger and pink Himalaya sea salt to rebuild that stomach acid inside of there so you can digest stuff properly. Okay, I'm done with that. I'm coming over here and then I'm really done. Let's see. Okay, what about sour sop? Bitter is that good? Bitter is better. Sour sop is really, really good. Sour sop. Mm. Sour sop fruit is more bitter to me than the leaves. I do both of them. I put sour sop fruit inside of my fruit smoothies. Sour sop is anti-cancerous. It's, it's one of the gangsters. It's one of the gangster herbs that I use. Yes. And it, it gets rid of parasites and mucus. It's anti-cancerous. It, it provides a plethora of minerals. Sour sop, yes. That's, that's really a good one. I, I forgot to mention that one. And I have some up in the cabinet. What I do with mine is I make tea. I do both. Well, for the fruit, because we have an international market here that sells the fruit. And for the fruit, I put the fruit in my um, smoothies. And I put a lot because I don't really like the taste of the sour sour fruit. But I put a lot of the fruit in my smoothie. And I try to mask the taste of it with a bunch of dates, papaya, the um, viral bananas, um, mango chunks. And then I'll use the coconut water as the liquid up in there. Oh, and I throw in some hemp seeds too because I want to get my magnesium. And so you do type foods like that to mask the taste of the real deal. And then they have the leaves. So for the leaves, I just make a tea with it. You know, like if I'm drinking maybe a burdock root tea or my sustained tea, I'll just add the leaves of the sarasap to it. I like to blend them and make them small. That way you can secrete a lot of the um, benefits of it, you know, with the water boiling. It's easier when it's smaller than the big leaf that they send you. But yeah, sour sap is really, really good. Thank you for reminding me of that. Great live, my first time. Thank you, Queen. You are so welcome, user, user 28. I hope you learned something up here. Let's see. I'm actually preparing my um, sustained detox right now and is listening in. Oh, good. Thank you for your support. I appreciate you. So, um, what are the last three things you said, baby? I don't remember. Um, on my notes, I have ginger, pink Himalaya sea salt, and coconut vinegar. If that's what you missed, that's what was last on my notes. Um, let's see, first time here, great information. Yeah, you're welcome, baby. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your support. That's right, because health is wealth. Yes, it is. That Yes, it is, Chronicles. Yes. Wow. Hey, Kim. Wow, back at you. Uh, the OG parasites. Yeah. 
Yeah. But there are instructions on how to take the detox on the package. Yes, it is. I, I, I give a spoon, a dosage spoon with the package. That's the same detox. And I provide um, instructions with it. I don't have it right here. But yeah, um, I provide that as well. Okay, somebody's laughing at me. <laughs> okay, I love uh, sarsaparilla. Use it in my soaps. Oh, okay, yeah. And so the skin is the largest organ. What you put on you penetrates inside of you. I use an herbal blend inside of my soaps as well. I have um, detox and soaps available on my website as well, y'all. Because the skin is the largest organ. So I do a proprietary blend of, of um, herbs in the woman's soap and the ones in the men's soap. is different. I use the ones in the men's soap to kind of electrify their body and help them with prostate type issues, um, you know, low libido type issues, and the ones in the women to help with women's health. So, yeah, I'm going to have to check out your um, page, babe. After this here live, I'm going to remember that. Why the Chronicles? Okay. Um, does black seed oil make your bowels lose? Yeah. Yeah, it does. I I think black seed oil is okay. I like to deal with more gangster things than that. But yeah, but like I just go for the the gusto kind of like stuff, you know. But black seed oil is is it's okay. Yeah, it it'll help. It'll help, but it ain't uh, it ain't nothing compared to like um like sarsaparilla, yellow dog, bird dog, um, sarsap. In my opinion, I've used it. I actually um have some up in the cabinet, but um it's like mm, yeah, it'd probably be about to go bad because I haven't used it in a long time. Hey, Big D, I didn't know you was up here. Oh my God, I'm finally aligned with you. I'm glad I caught your live. I'm glad you're here too. Life inspired. Mm -hmm. Heading to add to my car. There you go. There you go. You get the information. How about Wormwood? Yeah, Wormwood, yeah, but it's not one of the gangsters, and I've used it before. It's not one of the gangsters. It's not, it's not been turned me on like that. So I speak of the ones that I know that are really, really powerful, because here's the thing about me that I want to share with you all. I have this weird um, sense, spiritually, one of my gifts is that I'm a seer. I'm a seer. And in seeing others as within, so without. So if I can see others, I can see or feel. Because seeing is really feeling and experiencing myself. So I have this gift as to I can put a certain thing to my tongue. And I'll know if it's organic or not. I'll know what body part. I'm in communication with the cells of my body, right? Is what I'm trying to say. You might think it's weird. You might not believe me. I don't really care. I'm just telling you my gift. But here's the thing. Because I'm in tune with myself, my body gives me a signal of how it feels. I could just lay down on my back and I'll just know. And I and you know, my family, they'd be so tired of me. I guess they ask them, you feel it, you feel it? And they don't feel like I feel. So when I as as I was evolving in my journey, becoming this person, new, you know, this holistic herbalist type person, that was my thing. I always felt, I always heard a message to go to this one, to try this one, to experience this one. It was always a feeling. And so in the beginning, I would try it. I will take it because I was energetically drawn to the herb. I take it and I sit down and I feel, dang, I could feel this thing right now. I, I could feel like one of them. I could feel marbles just like rolling down from my gold bladder up right now. This thing is cleansing, cleansing my liver. But then, not being in my zone of feeling and being inspired to go over there, I'd listen to somebody who probably didn't look like me, and they were talking about beets or something like that. They didn't do nothing for me but irritate my liver. And so be me being out of alignment, listening to somebody outside of listening to the voice that told me or led me over here to this other thing, I'd go and try that. And then I'll try to use my listening skills, the, my gift, with stuff like the beats. And I could feel like it was like 
my my side, my liver like was feeling like it was getting clogged up. It was feeling like, no, something is not right. I need a bunch of water after I had a beet juice. And so I listened to me. And so that's why when I be talking to you all and I say, if you look like me, what I'm saying here is if you're energetically in this matrix like me, there are some things that are beneficial for us and some things that are not. And I'd like to believe that I, since I am a woman, a black woman with that mitochondria type energy, well, then I'm, I'm your mama is how I look at it. <laughs> and so you, you branched off, you, my son, you, my daughter type closest energetically to me, then you need to try this here gangster one that feels good inside of me based upon the knowing that I have of me and my spiritual gift. Now you take that how you want to take that. I, I'm hopeful that nobody don't get offended with that. But this is my spiritual gift and I'm not, a, I'm not ashamed of it. I'm proud of it. And because I have this gift is the reason why I come forth to deliver this information to you for free. Because I want you to experience a great quality of life. Now you do, you, you do, do how you want to do based upon that information that I just shared with you. But for me, I don't do the worm wood thing no more. Okay. How much should we use daily? How much of which one? Um, I'll go back to the bottom if you're still here. Um, QT. QT nails? Okay. Oh, QT nails it. I like that. Yes, my favorite bitter is neem oil. Neem oil is really, really good. I didn't mention that one, but neem oil is really, really good. My card is loaded. <laughs> Yeah, link in the bio. Thank you so much for Miss being so all oh, them bitter herbs. Yes, they are bitter and they are better. True, I healed my papa with sea salt. Yeah, sea salt is so needed. Sometimes I just put a little bit of pinch of pink Himalaya sea salt. And I found on Amazon the little individual packs. So I have them actually. If I had my purse here, I'll show you. I have them actually in my wallet because I'm out here in Arizona. Oh, thank you for the hearts, baby. I'm out here in Arizona. And they don't cook like the New Orleans people. So I have 21 seasons salute and little packs of pink Himalaya sea salt. But anyway, just randomly, you know, I'll put pink Himalaya sea salt underneath my tongue. when I, If I feel that I'm in need of something salty. Like, like if, um, like on my fast, for example, you know, like if I were to maybe get a craving of potato chips. That's just letting me know, okay, you need some pink Himalaya sea salt. If I get a craving of sweets, which I don't ever get crave sweets ever because I don't like I don't like sugar. It, it zaps my head. Anyway, if I get a so-called feeling for something, I know that it's saying you need some more fruit. You know, I'm never even going to go to the, the sweets, the white sugar, because I know it's going to give me a brain zap and it don't feel good. But like I said, I'm in tune with my cells of my body it's kind of like a weird thing but um they they don't my cells don't like white sugar <laughs> been craving chocolate a lot lately yeah yeah it's time for a little detox up in there does sea salt taste just as good tea, tea salt is oh my god it's way better than white salt the first time that i tried pink himalaya sea salt i didn't you know I didn't know the benefits or whatever. I didn't know what it, I wasn't trying to be no healthy or nothing. I just bought it at Old Food Store. And I tasted it. I had a little bit in my hand. I licked it. And I started licking real fast. I was like, oh my God, what's in this stuff? I need to buy this. I licked all of the salt out of my hand. It was so delicious. And that lets you know, just like when you eat like maybe a food that you hadn't had in a long time, that's one of the messages that you body be sending you your cells of your body be telling you that you need more of that that you like you you're lacking that you know so like say for example you eat maybe um some key lime made or whatever and you're like oh my god that was so good give me some more of that yeah your body wants that because it's saying oh okay your lymphatic system is 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 um is clogged up the key lime is going to help us with that lactic acid the erratic acid okay saliva saliva tongue let's start secreting let's make her want more of that because we need that we're trying to save her life and so that's what it was doing with that salt that was up in my hand and then i would take more because pink himalaya sea salt has 80 plus minerals and electrolytes you know how you try to go get um 
what they call them things, them little sports drinks, um, Gatorade for the children and all of that, the so-called electrolytes that's supposed to be up in there. No, all you really need is the pinky malaise. So that's what you need. That's what you're lacking. Because if you turn it around, they have all kind of hydrogenated oils and stuff inside of the um, Gatorade and the Power Aids. They got water up in there. They got white salt up in there. And they got a b bunch of sugar and stuff up in there. Which, with the thing that was giving you the electrolytes, though, was the salt. But they're putting white salt that only have two minerals in it. They ain't really giving you electrolytes. They just bamboozling y'all and taking y'all money if y'all subscribe to that kind of electrolyte stuff. The real electrolytes is the pink himalaya sea salt. Hands down. You can't compete. Two minerals versus the 84. You, you ain't no ain't no competing. All right. Let's see. So I think, hey there from Baton Rouge. Hey, farming. I'm from New Orleans. Everything is connected. Do you have a website for your products? Yes, www.saltoftheearthpub.org. It's in my bio. If you click on my picture, it's up there at the top. Uh, Life-saving information queen. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I, I, I was just feeling like just sharing today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Kai. Yeah, Big T, how about Sarasap? Yeah, Sarasap, I talked about that. It is good. Keep tapping the screen. Oh, y'all support me and then tapping the screen and stuff. Yeah. Uh, added honey to it. Is that okay? Honey, mm, no. Agave is a, is a good sweetener because agave is going to give you the um, probiotics. Now, there is a honey that's really, really good, but it's really, really expensive. It's called Manuka honey. honey. And it's really good, I say, because it helps a lot with like type um, throat type issues, sore throat, you know, esophagus type issues. It's it's a, it's a honey. It's wait, let me grab it. I have it right here. It's from New Zealand, I believe. Wait, I'm coming. In a while, but I, I like to try stuff, like I say, and see what the sales of my body feel like. This one here is really, really expensive, though. Manuka honey. You could get it from Whole Foods store. You could get it from Amazon, too. I think I got this one here from Amazon. But outside, that, that raw local honey. Mm, mm, mm -mm. The sweetener of choice for me, then that's why I have such a big old bottle of it. It's going to be my agave because it has such uh, beneficial bacteria and, you know, it's good for digestion. It's going to help me get, you know, digestive help and move things out of me. And it's, it don't give me the brain zap like white sugar does. But besides that, this is a healing honey here because of its properties of um, being antibacterial and and anti-inflammatory um, and stuff so it'll heal like bacteria and stuff in your throat and so that one's good but that little local raw honey and stuff i don't subscribe to that i i, I don't because it just for me how it feels inside of me what it does for me it feels like sugar in my body maybe your body different but in my body like that so yeah and so sometimes i drink my teas and i don't have no honey or nothing i just go ahead and drink it oh all the way down with nothing just the water and the herbs okay my daughter used to use them in her facials oh papaya seed oh okay that's pretty cool all right so i think uh 10k i got to oh i have put 10k up there i didn't even look oh and i got people still up in there listening to me eat colorful food yeah yeah thank you so much you are so welcome baby Love eating purple onions and any food raw, of course. Oh, yeah, but see, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Like, in the last five to ten minutes, you know, you put it in there if you want to, you know, just warm with your food, but you don't want to take all of the minerals from it because them, them onions and purple onions are gangster, man. That was a gangster onions. You got to have them in all of your food. Yeah, I keep it along with the yellow. You do the yellow too? Okay, that's cool. I was told that I have too much protein and stay away from, I guess you're saying potassium. No, because potassium is good for your kidneys. A lot of those people that I um, deal with that have um, cancer, they, the two things that they be deficient in is magnesium and potassium. And so they, they be looking for bananas and, you know, trying to find, they use 
bananas for the potassium or trying to find magnesium supplements and then the doctor tell them they don't have D3 but at the same time you can't get the D3 or the D3 pill that you're taking is not going to be useful if you don't have magnesium because they go hand in hand and so I often share with them different herbs that's really really good and magnesium and easy ones like the hemp seed something that they can deal with getting it from like a real source instead of all of them peel popping things because they be coming up on peel popping a lot but i like to share you know things like this here the magnesium in hemp and the potassium in coconut water they got a lot of potassium for ooh, for the kidney people y'all need coconut water they got a lot of potassium in there and so um and they have a lot of potassium in the uh coconut vinegar as well and so the potassium is really good on the kidneys and it's crazy that the two things that really help the body clean out the limb going back to what i said earlier magnesium it helps the body detox and is needed in every organ of the body now pay attention to what i just said about the cancer patients they were magnesium and potassium deficient magnesium helping them detox they don't have it why they don't have it because they get the core the core of their illness have parasites too then in their kidneys they're not filtering because if their kidneys would be, have been filtering they would have not got to this aesthetic range they would have not experienced cancer and so the kidney needs that potassium and so it all just makes logic if you put it together and use logic and you start incorporating these things right now to make sure that lymphatic system is filtering make sure the adrenal glands are working make sure you're not on steroids just stopping you from from experiencing whatever sickness or skin issue or whatever them steroids are tearing up your adrenal glands your kidneys is not going to be able to function and then it's only suppressing whatever you taking the steroid from you take you for you stop taking the steroid and you back to chaotic skin you back to whatever sickness and disease detox and leave them steroids alone they tearing up your health too. I I forgot to mention that earlier when everybody was up in here, but they'll catch it if I post this here to my YouTube. Like I said, I was potassium has to be monitored. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for sharing all of your knowledge with the collective. Love you. Oh, hey, ladybug. Thank you for being here with kidney disease, potassium. Yeah, definitely. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna look at these last five, and then I'm gonna wrap this here thing up. Anything over here? Uh, I'm definitely getting the quick ugliness, so I do need the alchemist oil with it. Yeah, that's going to get rid of every stage. The large adult parasites and the larva and the eggs, anything they secrete them when they get shocked by the fact that you about to clean house and they try to start to uh, multiply. You'll be getting all of that taken care of. Your skin is beautiful. Oh, thank you, babe. Thanks for noticing. I'm on the detox, and so the detox, it might be nourished um, soap that I use. Have been helping me so yeah have you heard of um liquid cold bitter sold by jamaicans no no um what's in the liquid i'm not sure no i never heard of that just called bitter 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 um if it's bitter does it sound like it's bitter herbs maybe in liquid form maybe something like that um okay all right okay i think i'm done here i think i'm done let me see anything over here manuka honey yeah manuka honey yeah can you show that honey again yeah yeah the honey is right here it's good for like throat type issues i'll show it over here raw manuka honey if you could get that there from um amazon is where i got this one here from i think i paid i think i paid maybe about mm, 40 40 50 somewhere it's kind of expensive this is a um 17.6 ounce right here I think it was 40 or 50. You go to Whole Foods store though, you 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 know where you go go? You go go to Trader Joe's. They had the best price. I saw that Trader Joe's for a good price. They always have good prices. But Whole Foods store, they was about they was about 50, 60 for this. Amazon, I think I even paid about 40, 50 for it. And Whole I mean in Trader Joe's, I think it was maybe about somewhere about 30, 40, something like that. They were cheaper. I know at Trader Joe's that was a cheaper place. But that's the only um, honey. It's really, really thick. I never opened this particular one. I can show you though. Let me show you. 
and if I can open, let me see. I'll show you. It's really, really thick. It's thick. Ooh, but it smells, it even smells kind of like medicated, like almost like Vicks. Vicks vapor kind of like smell to it. And let me show you here how thick this thing is. It's tacky. Tacky like um tacky consistency. So it, it should be good. It is rather good in the digestive system back to like those fibers and prebiotics. I was telling you about anytime you're dealing with a healthy tacky consistency like this here, it'll help you get rid of um, parasites and bacteria in your gut as well. Because when you bowel start to bulk up or whatever then you know it's helping you but but yeah but i i just don't i just don't use it but it's good for you i'll use that before i'll use a raw honey a raw local honey because of the healing properties in that and because it is um it's it's only a it's a honey that you get from new zealand see if you if you look close right there see what i was talking about new zealand it's, it's only certain bees something I, I forget all the um, knowledge that I learned about it at that time. But in so many words, from what I remember, it's like certain bees that's pollinating out there and doing stuff out there in New Orleans. I mean, New Orleans, in New Zealand. And they secrete this here and they make this here. And it has healing properties. And so, anyway, I'm wrapping up. I'm about to get up out of here. I think that's. Ooh, I'm tired. How often can you eat the honey? This one here? You can, it's, it ain't, you know, you can't overdose on it or nothing like that. Like, eat it with your teas. I mean, you know, consume it with your teas. Like, two to three times a day, you know. It's, 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 it's a beneficial honey for your body. More beneficial than raw honey, to, in my opinion, in my experience of what I felt in my body with my gift. So... What do you recommend for gut health? All of these actually are best for gut health. Um, what comes to mind for gut health is making sure you have probiotics up in there. And I showed you that with the coconut vinegar. Making sure you maybe consume definitely in the beginning stage some ginger because it's really going to be good for your health. And um, uh, pink Himalaya sea salt. Those right there. Those right there is the perfect, perfect start for gut health. You could throw in some um, coconut water for for helping with the gut too, but those those are the beginning stages of getting getting stuff going, and everything else that I really talked about, every last thing that I talked about that's on this table, is for gut health. And you pick which one you feel that you need. After. So if you full of crap, you full of poop, I would go toward those um um. Those fiber things that I was telling you about, you know, get that, get that flowing because you want to be able to expel this stuff. You want to make sure you're, you're able to eliminate. So I would stay focused on getting some of that fiber up in there for my bowel to start moving. And then I'll make sure that I'm getting something that I spoke of that'll get rid of that uric and, um, the uric and the lactic acid buildup. So my kidneys could be moving. So that way my bowel, I'm not full of crap. And my kidneys are, are filtering out all of the acids or the waste. You, and I, I told you those things already. So you look, listen to the replay play of the video and you find those two things there. That's the perfect start because you want to make sure before you're killing all parasites and worms and all that, that your pathways ways are open to release. You don't want to dehydrate or shock these parasites, these worms. Now they dead inside of you and you got a big turd of poop sitting up there that you've been having up in there for two weeks and it don't want to come out because it's so hard because you ain't drinking no water because you are not eliminating. You want to make sure you're softening that stool and eliminating bile. So even if you were getting the sustained detox right here, you want to make sure that you're drinking citrusy type fruits. You want to make sure that you are... Um, Getting maybe some fiber in that diet. I told you all about fiber already. You want to make sure maybe you drinking some coconut water. Making sure them kidneys got the potassium in it. You want to make sure you drink this spring water. You want to make sure that you are staying hydrated. And I just showed you everything. I gave you everything from the bottom of my heart on this video. Now it's up to you.
Now what you gonna do is your move. <laughs> How do I catch the replay? I only caught the end of your live. Oh, okay, Scorpio. Well, TikTok gives me um ability to download it. It might take about two hours though for me to be able to download it and then transfer it over. So uh I would say later on tonight. What time is it? 5 50 here. Later on tonight, or probably first day in the morning, it'll be on my YouTube channel. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, click the notification button, and then when I have it submitted, you'll get the little message that is there. And I guess I'll name this um the gangster way to get rid of the parasites. Since I mentioned gangster herbs all the time, that's what I call them the gangster herbs. So I'm about to get off of here because I'm tired of running my mouth. <laughs> Do you eat fruit if healing candida? Yes, you can. Candida is really feeding off of more of the sugars. And that's a misconception. It's more of the sugars. We need fruit as our energy. Yes, you can still eat fruit. You need to lay off of the white sugar. You need to lay off of the rice and the pasta type sugar. The things that dissolve and turn into sugar. When you eat fruit, it's, it's giving you another sense of hydration. It's giving you minerals. It ain't necessarily turning into no white sugar. So, so you, we've been lied to about that. Don't believe that. Eat your, eat your, yeah, the gangster miss, miss, miss being so. Eat your fruit. You, you, you gotta eat your fruit. You gotta eat your key limes. You gotta eat your mango. You need that. You need that to survive. Did I miss the insight for skincare? Skincare is pretty much cleaning out your gut and making sure you put products that are organic on your skin. That's skincare. You could, you could go try all kind of crazy stuff. You could peel all the layers off of your skin if you want to with the skin peeling everything. But at the core, if your lymphatic system underneath that peeled skin up to the face, if your lymphatic system is still clogged up with too much of mucus, too much of uric and lactic acid, then guess what? You could peel that layer and later on, them bumps and zits and everything gonna come back because you ain't never healed the temple. We could shortcut it. I'm trying to teach you how to stop shortcutting and live a good quality of life of health. Now you could go and get a get, get a skin peel. You could go and buy all kinds of little other acids and put the acids on it to to, 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 I don't know, to bring fire to the zit or to pop the zit with because of the acid. I don't know, I don't know, I don't, I don't do all that. I put my products on my face. I wash my face with Be Nourished which is my body shampoo, actually, my body wash, actually. And then it, before, if I put on like some little light foundation or something, I'm going to make sure that I put a little bit of Be Nourished underneath here because I like the natural, natural beauty. You don't have to like me without a gang full of makeup, but I love me without it. I'll put a little bit of my little Be Nourished on my face and I'll put some, some little pink lipstick or, or red and I'll contour my eyebrows and I might flicker the mascara thing right here and I'm, I won't be done. I don't have time to be sitting up in the bathroom like I'm about to go to a Mardi Gras parade. No, it's nice, naturally beautiful. But this skin right here though, this skin right here though, this skin right here is healthy though. And I'm, I'm, I'm saying that because I use organic products. I use organic products and my products have citrus fruits. Back to my fruits now. Citrus fruits and herbs for the healing of the nation in all of my products. You ain't gonna find no kind of toxic foam, no kind of lie, none of that stuff, none of, none of them salt base and stuff in none of my products because I've already been to the to the side of sickness. I done already had the irritated skin. I done already had the rashes and stuff. And I really created my products. To be honest with y'all, I wasn't thinking about none of y'all at that time. This was about me and my boys. We was I was just trying to save our lives. So I was creating soaps in 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 um in um blemish free oils and deodorants and stuff just for me and my babies. I'm sharing it with you all now because now I'm in a better place in my journey where I can since I'm retired and all and it's something extra and something that I just over the years love doing and I just love helping people but it was for me and so everything that's on that website I use I created I needed it at one point in my life to save my life so anyway that's it I'm about to go I've been running my life I mean I've been running my own mouth too long I'm about to go be nurse is great bro oh thank you thank you big T hey ladybug thank y'all for being here this video, let me check one more time over here. Anything else? Okay, I'm definitely going to get quicker. Okay, I see. Okay, I'm out of here. This video 
was from my heart to yours. Remember, this is physical and your God created your reality. You can do, be, or have anything that you put your mind to, baby. Go out there, get on your throne, and create, create, create. Be blessed, baby. Whew. Boy, I was running that mouth. <laughs>